Good morning, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. Today is the 1st of August, 2014. I want to welcome everyone to another one of my segments. Today we're going to talk about a few things. Uh, two really important issues and two involve top 10 items. The first top 10 item is why not to use alcohol and drugs. And then the other is the top 10 reasons why do or why does everyone use alcohol and drugs? So those are uh, two separate issues, two are top 10, and two are very important. Uh, first, I just want to uh, go over something really quick, and these are statistics that I uh, found uh, during my studies of um, substance, substance abuse and uh, addictions, and uh, I want to share these with you because they're quite important. 450,000 Americans die each year from just smoking cigarettes. Isn't that an amazing number? 450,000 Americans. That's almost a half a million Americans die each year of just smoking. 85,000 people die from alcohol abuse each year. 85,000 people. 25% of Americans die from substance abuse. That could be a combination of alcohol or and drugs. 25%, that's a quarter of our population here in America. 40% of traffic incidents involve some sort of alcohol and or drug uh, abuse. 40%. 50% of homicides have something directly linked to some sort of substance abuse. 50% of all homicides. What does that really tell you? That really tells you that the homicides are occurring because uh, of some sort of alcohol and or drug abuse and, and uh, the people aren't in their uh, right of mind when they're doing this. Uh, not, not that the other 50% are, but uh, something always does trigger uh, some sort of violence and and certainly when uh, drug and or alcohol is involved that certainly uh, escalates the accelerates I should say the situation last but not least of these statistics 40 percent of assaults that occur here in the Amer in the United States are because of uh, alcohol and or drug addiction or abuse so these are pretty amazing statistics and I just wanted to share that with you and um, you know, it's during my uh, studies because I've been kind of uh, trying to educate myself on a lot of these things. And that way, when I do my videos to you folks, I can uh, give you numbers. Because you know what? Numbers are so much bigger than uh, any, any word by itself uh, when I start reading up some of these numbers. So now we're going to go to uh, why not to use alcohol and or drugs. And... Uh, these are the top 10 reasons. So, number one, brain disorders. Any alcohol and or drug abuse will give you some sort of brain disorder. And now, I could read, I have two cheat charts right here. I could read exactly what it means, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Just two drinks a day, you do that seven days a week and you do it per year, actually t eats away at brain cells and eventually will give you some sort of brain disorder and the same goes with drugs they just eat away at your brain uh, so uh, that is uh, number one number two serious chronic disease liver lungs if you're drinking smoking that all will cause another reason and and these are again the top 10 reasons why we should not use uh, any type of alcohol or drugs. Uh, so that was number two. Number three, not as severe as the other one, two, the first two, hangovers. However, I know since I became sober June 22nd, 2013, those hangovers are gone. I love the fact that they're gone and it's great. So that is another reason why we shouldn't do. And you know what? You can also get a hangover from doing drugs. It's not just from alcohol. It's just a different type of hangover. So we want to stay away from uh, that. And that's another reason. Number four, cancer. 
That's another reason. Now, for the drinkers that are out there, whether or all of us who have, you know, had a massive amount of alcohol in the past, we need to watch out because another thing is liver cancer. Another thing for the smokers, and it doesn't matter if it's just cigarettes, it's also for marijuana, the lung cancer. So that is number four. Number five, birth defects. Now, that's a pretty self-explanatory uh, reason, but whatever you, mommy, whatever you take in, whether it's alcohol or drugs, gets passed on to your child, your unborn child, and that will cause birth defects. Number six, injury. I know that every time I got so drunk and I started doing anything with tools or climbing ladders, that caused me injury. That's not even to mention the fact that anyone out there that's doing alcohol and or drugs is behind the wheel, using massive amount of power tools. That will all cause injury. So we need to uh, step back and, and pay attention. That is another sign. Number seven. dependency that is what alcoholism and drug addiction really comes down to is dependency because I do know in all the years that I was drinking I was so dependent on alcohol that I needed it almost like a fish needs water since June 2013 I've not eliminated my alcoholism because I still am an alcoholic but I have learned to live with it it's all in the mind and how you treat your uh, your recovery or the plan that you have and we're going to go over those plans in a little bit number eight alcohol beer a shot of alcohol or any drug will give you at least per serving 150 empty calories those are calories wasted a normal diet has about 2,000 calories to be used. Can you imagine when I was drinking 10 shots of vodka a day, that was 1,500 calories, empty calories, not doing me any good whatsoever, so no good. So those are empty calories and it's wasted. And that was number eight. Number nine. Alcohol and or drug addiction gives you a poor quality in life, meaning financial burden, meaning personal life, relationships. It's just a poor quality of life. So the alcohol and or drug addiction is another reason why we should be careful of that. And that is the reason for this segment, the top 10 reasons not to use alcohol and or drugs. Last but not least, the most important, and here it is, number 10. Now, this deserve a double bam, because the ultimate result of this one is your demise, death. Whether it's your own death, whether you become one of those statistics of the 50% of homicides is caused by alcohol and or drug abuse, or if you kill someone else accidentally driving drunk, driving uh, on uh, some sort of drug. So death is number 10 and it's the most important one. It's the most crucial one. Now, those were the 10 top reasons why not to use alcohol and or drugs. Next are the 10 top reasons why people do use them. Here we go. Number one. Number one is because some drugs are legal. So we say thumbs up. Well, if they're legal, why can't I use it? Well, guess what? In almost every state, you can buy alcohol and cigarettes. Those are considered drugs, and yes, they are legal. However, they become um, addictive, and they can also give you massive amount of issues at hand whether well, it's medical issues, financial issues, personal issues. So those are uh, issues that we don't want to have to deal with. So that was number one. Number two, 
Could you feel that you can get a prescription for drugs that makes it legal and that makes it okay for you to use? However, when a doctor gives you a prescription for painkillers, it's for the pain that you might have due to an injury or surgery or whatever. It's not to abuse that. Prescriptions are issued for reasons such as I just explained. However, there are a lot of people that are out there that go to their doctors pretending like they have issues just to get those prescription uh, to get that prescription to utilize it for a drug so we need to be careful and that was number two number three we use them because we don't want to go against the grain now that pretty much is very self-explanatory and it's easy for me to say because I am right now sober since June uh, th uh, 22nd of 2013 uh, in the beginning, I felt I was going against the grain because people around me were having a good time drinking and doing whatever, and people at bars and Applebee's and all that. I just thought I had to fit in, but guess what, folks? You don't. You don't have to fit in because guess what? You are doing what you need to do to treat a disease that you have. It's not a choice that comes easy for you to have to do. However, you need to do it to live longer, to keep the loved ones in your family. So those are issues that you need to deal with. But this is why people do use alcohol and or drugs. Number four, people use alcohol and or drugs because they have a feeling of emptiness. In other words, you don't have a relationship at this particular time with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband or a wife and you just feel all alone and you figure, okay, when I do have the alcohol and or drugs, uh, that eliminates reality, it gets rid of it. But guess what? Next, next day, the next morning, you will come around again and that emptiness will still be there. So what you need to do is to learn to live with that temporary emptiness because all emptiness will eventually be filled. So you need to learn to live with it, um, find things to do, get hobbies, anything uh, that you can possibly do to, to fill the void of emptiness will um, uh, be better than alcohol or drugs. Number five, peer pressure. Just because, and, and I hope there are some young people watching this right now, just because you're at school and your friends are all doing alcohol and drugs, that you feel that you need to do it, but you really don't have to do it. Because keep in mind, those people doing the alcohol and drugs will eventually end up with one of these things that we just spoke about on this video. And, and why, why just to be like them do you want to end up like them? Don't end up like them to be like them. Be yourself. Remember, you are special. Whoever you are, you are special the way you are. God, God created you to be just the way you are. Now, God created us to be uh, happy, to be healthy, and, and that's what you need to do. But alcohol and or drugs is not the way to become that. So that is number five. Number six, drugs and alcohol can make you feel good. Of course alcohol did make me feel good it made me feel really good however alcohol abuse is a whole different ball game now drug abuse is a, bo a different ball game I was drinking so much that not even a little drunkness was good enough I had a drink until I was almost passed out I had to take naps in the middle of the day middle of the afternoon if I wasn't working so um, we need to find something other than drugs and or alcohol to make us feel good there are many other things. These videos talking to you to help you make me feel good. I don't need to have the alcohol. Sports can make you feel good. Reading can make you feel good. Being around your loved ones can make you feel good. Alcohol and or drugs does not make you feel good in a long term sense. It's a temporary fix and you don't need it. Number seven. Alcohol and drugs are so easy to come by and that's why people use them a lot you can go to any street corner down the street and find uh, drugs being sold to children these days you can go to your local 7-elevens uh, supermarkets and find the alcohol so that it's very easy to come by and that's why people use it a lot 
if we had some kind of mandate to make it harder to come by then uh, uh, it wouldn't be as easy some of the states have ABC stores which is uh, uh, mandated so much stricter and it's not uh, sold in every deli in every 7-eleven and uh, that and or supermarkets and that's what makes it so much harder to come by because can you imagine um, if, if you were only able to buy alcohol at one location in your town and that's a store that just does alcohol doesn't sell potato chips or uh, diapers and all that it's just alcohol so each and every sale that they make they make sure that the people buying it are uh, capable of buying it when I say capable that are allowed to buy it the drugs is a whole different story it's it's, it's hard to to do any type of uh, uh, mandating on that because uh, no matter what drugs are being sold they're not legal drugs only legal drugs that you can get are the drugs from your doctor which goes back to one of our steps which I said those drugs are meant for other reasons than abuse so that is an issue that we need to address and hopefully the uh, the world and United States comes up with better reasons to take care of it number eight alcohol is just not enough in other words you're drinking let's say a couple glasses of wine a couple shots of vodka and you just feel it's not enough so you want to promote yourself this is a promotion let's now move to marijuana then to cocaine then to crack and then the next thing is death so you're saying okay that's another reason I use this because um, alcohol is not enough so I just want to get myself even in a worse predicament than I am with the alcohol already and uh, I, I just want to also emphasize to you folks alcohol is also a drug so don't don't kid yourselves and think that alcohol is not a drug it is a drug number nine experimentation Johnny comes into your house to visit you guys are having a couple beers and he says let's try doing a line of uh, cocaine you've never done it but he's insisting that you try and that goes back to one of our other ones which is peer pressure that is peer pressure now he wants you to experiment what he already has done and is already in his body which might even cause bigger issues at hand down the road and he wants you to experiment with it be a stronger person have your own mind you don't need some person to tell you what should go into your body it's your body definitely be your own person you are worth a lot more than having peer pressure and experimentation control your life number 10 number 10 is self-medicating where you just feel that okay you need to uh, have the alcohol and or drugs to, to get that high and, and to just self-medicate because you feel like you can't go on in life without all these uh, uh, different s sort of drugs that are out there to, to make you feel good but you can feel good without alcohol and or drugs you really can what you have to do is just learn how to live with it and, and to, uh, to live with it is such a pleasure because each and every morning you wake up and you feel good your body actually feels good it's the color of your skin becomes healthier looking your mood swings disappear your your argumentative stages disappear all these things will eventually uh, shape into something that's you that God created which is you you create it yourself by self medicating by drinking by drugging but that's not what God created God created a perfect human which is you if you change what God created that is something you're going to have to fix having God in your life is always a huge plus because he wants he wants to be in your life and, and you need to have him in your life but you can't be a Christian and do drugs and alcohol you really can't it one doesn't go with the other so you need to make choices now we just spoke about all these different things and these are things we have to be careful for but I do want to tell you there is hope here's the hope starting today just say I don't want to do drugs and alcohol anymore I just don't want to I want to just quit and when you say that that is terrific and let's start right now and I'm gonna give you a thumbs up if you can say it and I'm gonna give you another thumbs up just say it as of today I don't want to do it anymore you have hit rock bottom last night was terrible tomorrow the Sun comes out tomorrow sunshine will go on your head and you will feel better 
There are different ways of doing this. There are different methods. Let's discuss, discuss the methods. Excuse me. My method works so good for me. It probably will good, work great for you. However, it doesn't work for everyone. Here is my method. It all started with me going to AA two or three times, sitting in this classroom atmosphere, people exchanging stories of what used to be them and how today is going to be a different day and tomorrow a different life. And that is great because that is the end result. We all want to change yesterday and make today and tomorrow better. But I felt I, need, I needed to have a more active role in my recovery and also to help people out wherever you might be, help you and, 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 and make you feel that there is hope at the end of the day, at the end of the tunnel, there is a light. So my method was created by me and that was with a simple website I created. And that website became huge with different videos, different articles, different everything you can imagine is on this website, including all of my videos, my whole collection. So, on this website, these videos and articles, except for my own vid videos, are created by doctors, psychologists, and psychiatrists, which are the medical professionals. By all means, I am not advising you or dispensing any sort of medical advice. All I do, like a messenger, is I put their items on my website and my own personal experiences which I can testify for on the website for you to use as a tool for recovery. You'll always have the alcohol addiction, you always have the drug addiction in you. That will always be there but you today August 1st 2014 can live with it. You can work with it but it has to be done by you. So that is my method is just to help me helps you in return helps me again then you have method two which is AA AA has been around for many and many years and it's a great tool for people that enjoy doing how they do it they have the 12-step program each step is at a certain plateau in time they have sponsors which I am indirectly to a couple people however not in an AA atmosphere it's in uh, as a friend as a fellow addicted person so AA does work and if it works for you that is great and if it doesn't I welcome you to try my method and then for the folks that are out there that have a severe problem and have no self-control what does that mean no self-control that means I can walk past a liquor shop I can walk into a bar and not want to drink now if you have alcohol and or drug addiction issues and you feel that you're not strong enough to do this on your own at home or even walking down the street then you need to check yourself into a rehab treatment center now on page 7 on www.clearviews.info which is my website click on the state that you live in and then click uh, on the area that you want to go to meaning uh, is it your town is it a county on page 7 has all the states and on all the states there are certain uh, rehab centers if you don't find one within your area go on your uh, internet and Google your area for rehab centers those rehab and treatment centers will give you 24 hour seven day a week treatment supervised they have the 30 60 90 day programs so those are the three methods my way then you have the AA and then you have the treatment centers now I say this in all my videos so it's important that I say this now for anyone that's watching whether you're out on Facebook on my website or YouTube Twitter wherever if you're watching and your night was so bad that you had any uh, medical issues such as breathing problems visual problems speech problems call 911 immediately you need to call them when you are released from the doctor in the hospital continue watching my videos call me at 631-599-0218 you can text me you can call me you can email me you can go on my website but I do want to hear from you because keep in mind folks I keep telling everyone this I can't find you but you can find me because if you're watching my video right now you know who I am my name is Ralph Friedrichs and I am an alcoholic but I don't know that you're watching so 
ralf.friedrichs at yahoo.com, www.clearviews.info, uh, excuse me, 844-393-9355 is my business number. I'm the only one that has access to that phone. On Facebook, I'm on the clearviews.info. So now we discussed the three different methods. We discussed why do people use drugs and, and alcohol and why uh, we shouldn't use drugs and alcohol. We discussed statistics with, which were huge. The fact that 450,000 Americans die from smoking each year is an amazing number. The fact that 85,000 Americans die from alcohol consumption each and every year amazing numbers and numbers don't lie 25 percent of all Americans die from substance abuse that could be from alcohol drugs combined separate it doesn't matter those are the percentage and the percentage is the percentage 45 percent of traffic deaths are due to uh, alcohol and or drug addiction or abuse 50 percent of all homicides in this country are uh, due to alcohol and or drugs. In other words, a person that's uh, bad enough that a person's going to kill, but now they are uh, in influenced by alcohol and drugs, and that, that uh, certainly rises to a whole different uh, killing, probably. I mean, it, uh, some of the most brutal murders uh, have been uh, found out later that people were so high on drugs and so um, drunk, or whatever the reason might be. And 40% of all assaults in this country are due to alcohol and or drug abuse. So that it, these are huge numbers and numbers don't lie. So folks, if it, this doesn't uh, put, put any type of light in, in your head, in other words, a light needs to turn on and say, I need to stop this today. I have a problem. I need to stop. And Ralph, let August 1st, 2014 be my first day. I've hit rock bottom. Utilize one of my methods at that point. Call me, email me. There's so many different ways to get a hold of me. But what you need to do is you need to make that first step. Now, we discussed all these different items. And, and the statistics don't lie. Um, you have the AA. Use it. You have my methods. Use it. You have rehab centers. So I hope to God that we all somehow find peace by eliminating alcohol, by eliminating drugs, and, and start living a healthier and better life. I hope to God that everybody watches real soon again. Uh, I always say this and I'm going to say it again. A sober today makes for a better tomorrow. And if you can believe it, you can achieve it. So you can achieve, uh, you can achieve sobriety. You can eliminate drugs and alcohol, but you need to believe it. It has to be in your heart and in your mind that you are strong enough. Now, let's put it on the other side. If you want to be a weak person and let alcohol and or drugs control your life, and it will, then that's what you're going to do. Wouldn't you like to control your life? Wouldn't you like to, to wake up every morning knowing that you are in control of your life? Because otherwise you're just a prisoner in a jail. Do you know how the correctional officers, they control the inmates? Well, drugs and or alcohol are the wardens and you are the prisoner of them. They will control you. They will walk you through life under this, this assumption that you are a person which you're not because you are being controlled by them and eventually it might even lead to your death. So don't let it happen. A sober today makes for a better tomorrow and if you believe it, you can achieve it. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Today is Friday. I will hopefully see and speak to everyone again on Monday. And please, please have a sober weekend. God bless you.